Hey guys, hope you are doing good and enjoying this series of deploying your front hall router. Considering you have now watched the three previous videos, we'll jump into the next one where we actually derive Cipri RAID from the channel bandwidth and MIMO configuration. All right, now let us break one Cipri basic frame. Now, the length T of each word depend on the Cipri line bit rate option. The first word, which is W equals to zero, is reserved for control information, while the other 15 words are used to carry IQ data samples. Let us take the example of Cipri option one. Here, T is equals to eight bits per word. So as there are 15 words, the total T is equals to 120 bits of IQ data being carried in those 15 words. The CIPRI payload is essentially 120 bits of IQ data and 8 bits of control word. We know that sampling frequency is FC equals to 3.84 MHz per bit of data. To sample 128 bit width IQ, the data rate is 3.84 multiplied by 128 which is 491.5 Mbps. Considering the CIPRI rate data is encoded before sending, and as we use 8-bit, 10-bit encoding the CIPRI option 1, the resultant CIPRI line rate is 614.4 Mbps. Now that we understand where the CIPRI option rate is coming from, let us test our knowledge on another CIPRI option. Let's pick CIPRI option 3. Here, T is equals to 32 bits per word, so as there are 15 words, the total T is equals to 480 bits of IQ data. Sample being carried in those 15 words. The CIPRI payload is essentially 480 bits of IQ data and 32 bits of control word. Again, we know that sampling frequency is FC equals to 3.84 MHz per bit of data. To sample 512 bit IQ, the data rate is 3.84 multiplied by 256 and it is equals to 1966.05 Mbps. Considering the CIPRI data is encoded before sending and we use 8-bit, 10-bit encoding for CIPRI option 3, the resulting CIPRI line rate is 2457.56 Mbps. Similarly, we can calculate the CIPRI rate for all the possible options. Now, if you can understand bits in the form of AXC, we will be able to derive which CIPRI option we need to capacity plan a certain channel bandwidth and MIMO layers. So if you rewind back to what we had learned earlier, the channel bandwidth of 2.5 MHz, one AXC is equals to 30 bits, 15 bits of I and 15 bits of Q. So to support 120 bits of option one, we allocate four AXCs. Similarly, to support 240 bits of option two, we allocate eight AXCs. For 480 bits of option three, we allocate 16 AXCs and so on. Let's run through a few examples now for better understanding. If we pick an example of 20 megahertz of channel bandwidth and two cross two MIMO antenna configuration over three sectors, the number of AXCs that need to be allocated in this case is six. And from the table, the minimum CIPRI rate required to support this kind of configuration is option seven. Let's pick an example of 10 megahertz of channel bandwidth and four cross four MIMO antenna configuration over three sectors. The number of AXAs that need to be allocated in this case is 12. And from the table, the minimum CIPRI rate required to support this kind of configuration is again at least option 7. Now let's pick an example of 15 MHz of channel bandwidth and 2 cross 2 MIMO antenna configuration over one sector. The number of AXAs that need to be allocated in this case is 2. And from the table, the minimum CIPRI rate required to support this kind of configuration is option 3. I hope I made sense in this video and cleared a lot of your doubts. In the next video, we'll go back to the operator RAN information that we had shared in our second video and do a homework of frontal capacity planning for that operator. So see you in the next one. Bye-bye.